Hi there, welcome to another YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Um, this week I received a really nice palette. Um, in there is or are parts for the do-it-yourself CNC community project that I'm that I'm doing. And as you clearly can see, I already opened up the boxes because I just couldn't stand the uh, the excitement um, of what was or of what is in there. So yeah, just let me open it up. Um, just a small hint, what you guys, or just I want to show you guys what's in there. Um, there are linear rails from Schneeberger in there, and I'm really glad that they teamed up with me for this uh, community project. Um, so yeah, just let me open up the first box. What you see here, just for the first, just notice how well they package their products. Obviously, I already removed uh, the plastic backing of this rail. Um, they put particle board on the ends of, of the package and they also put in those inserts just to make sure that the products they ship, uh, they ship aren't going to be damaged no matter how hard the, the the delivery guy is going to treat the package there won't be any damage on it uh, so yeah it's actually a pretty nice packaging um, those are 550 millimeter long rails with the long and flange style um, carriages Slightly preloaded, which I got on all axes, um, just to get more stiffness into the system and more rigidity. And although they are slightly preloaded, they really run super smooth. This is just so nice. Um, I will put up some, uh, or I will put in some close-up pictures into the video, so you guys just can see how well they are machined and how well. It's basically made. Um, yeah, pretty stoked about it. Just let me get those rails out of the box. Then we can move on to the next box, the big one. But I first have to, no, I will show you guys how they are packed as well. Basically the same way. Obviously I also, got rid of the plastic backing on this rail but yeah this is how they ship it and it's just so awesome really i this this actually is the way how linear rails should be shipped no matter what manufacturer it is um so yeah this is really really nice so just let me get the box out of the way So what you're looking at um, for the bigger rails, um, 25 millimeter in size or build size, also long carriage flange style, slightly preloaded and the long ones are 1400 millimeters and the shorter ones are one meter. Uh, those will go onto the table assembly, the long ones, and the one meter longs are going to be on the gantry beam. So it's really awesome how, how well they are built 
and how smooth they run. Just, of course, I can't slide them right now because they are slightly preloaded. But if I just hold it, hold the rail down a bit, they really run super smooth. This is also the sound. It's just so satisfying. So yeah, this is really, really nice quality. Um, what I have to do is to get some grease nipples um, for the carriages in order to mount um, the grease hoses to the to, to the carriages and then I can utilize uh, a central lubrication system but this is a step way ahead of uh, where I'm at now um, but this is going definitely to be a part of this build also what they got inside the package are those um, I think it's Dalrin uh, rails just if you ever need to you can put them on the end like this and then you can slide the carriage onto it uh, in order to not lose the ball bearings that are inside those carriages one for 25 millimeter build size and one for 50 mm, 15 millimeter build size um, and also they of course did include uh, the plugs for for the bolt holes for the rails um, yeah all in there and what they got is this little knife to cut uh, the plastic backing they actually thought of everything this is just so nice and i really can't wait to get to the point where i can mount those rails to uh, to the to the single components of the cnc so yeah guys stay tuned for more i hope you enjoyed the video and i really can't wait to mount this stuff all up this is just going to be such a really nice machine and with with this hardware it's going to be rigid enough to take some serious cuts uh, to take some serious cuts and also to do some proper hsc machining so yeah this is really really nice hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one guys bye bye